Hello everybody and welcome back to this new video. Today we're going to be talking about the Windows Weak Box from CyberSec Labs. So, hopping into our Nmap scan, we'll notice that we have port 21 open, which is FTP. We have port 80 open, which is HTTP. Then we have RPC open and the two SMB ports uh, and some more less interesting ports. So, uh, our Nmap scan has also shown that we can uh, log into FTP using anonymous credentials. And that's going to give us a directory, aspnet underscore client, an HDM page, and a welcome image. Um, so let's take a look at this uh, anonymous login. So you can actually anonymously log in by uh, going into your Nautilus or, or your files here in Kali. And then here you see we can do uh, FTP and then the address. So we'll, we'll uh, connect with this share. So FTP slash slash 172 and the IP address. And then we can say, okay, connect as anonymous. We can connect, and now we've mounted, and we can uh, we can take a look at the contents here. So we have this uh, as net client with a system web file, and then two uh, empty folders. We also have this ii start iis start page and this welcome page. And looking at port 80, it also runs iis. Um, so possibly this could be the web route, so we can uh, take a look at that. So if we go to the web route here, uh, inspect an element, uh, we'll take a look at this picture, for example, and this picture is the welcome.png that we have here. All right, so knowing that, uh, we, we know that if we put a file here, we will probably be able to see it. So let's do that. We'll um, go here, quickly create a new, uh, We'll hold on, we'll um, go into our directory here, we'll echo hello into a file called b. Actually, let's uh, rename this to b.html, right? And then we can put that file into this root directory here, which we assume is the web root. So now, if that is the web root, we should be able to go to b.html. And that works. So, okay, so we have write access on the web. Now we can figure out what this server is running, but for that, you can also use Webalyzer, uh, which is a plugin that you can add to Firefox, which is going to show you uh, what stuff might be running. So, for example, here we can see this is running uh, IIS 7.5. We have a Windows server, PHP is running, and the web framework is asp.net. Um, so, we know that PHP is running, so we could try uploading a PHP file. So let's try that. So we will upload um, and we'll do a simple PHP script here that's just going to echo one and we'll put that in uh, a.php. So we can try uploading that right now. Um, upload that and now we can go to a.php. But we will notice that we don't get anything and looking here we see it commented the PHP code out. So I don't think PHP is an option. But we also had asp.net running. Uh, oh hold on, if we go here it, it changed it to FTP which I don't want, I want HTML. Oh, uh, HTTP, sorry, whoops. HTTP. And then it says it cannot find it. However, it is there. So I think there's some check here uh, that says, okay, you can't use PHP files. But that is all right because we can try to uh, to uh, upload an ASP file and see if we can get an uh, ASP reverse shell. So for that, I always like to use a sharp, uh, sharp pi shell, uh, which uh, is really useful. It, it crea creates a a shell for us, an ASPX shell, and then we can use it from the command line. So that's very helpful. So for this, we'll generate one. So uh, if you clone the GitHub, you can generate one by saying uh, generate and then a password. So we have our shell has been written to sharpie shell.aspx, which is here. Now we can upload that to the server. Let's copy its name and see if we can go there. Uh, so if we go there, we'll see, okay, we get an empty screen, which is good. We don't get an error. Uh, and then we can uh, we can connect 
to that and get a good execution, get a shell. So we're going to copy the next command, which is going to be interact with a URL. And then we can enter our IP address. Uh, the password has to be the same, and in this case it is. And as you can see, okay, we get a, a kind of shell prompt here. But note, this is still a web shell, so uh, it's not interactive in any way. It's, uh, it's, it's still a web shell. Every command we send is going to be sent as an HTTP request, I believe. So you might want to uh, watch out with that. And if you want a real, real shell, you, you could upload netcat to the server and get a shell like that, which I've done in other videos. But for the case of this video, you would do your enumeration, uh, maybe look around, and you would definitely find this development directory. In the, in the root of the file system. So we can go there and take a look at what it has here. It has two exe files and a readme.txt. These exe files seem to have been created uh, a couple hours ago, so I'm not sure what those are about, but this uh, readme file has been created created a while back, so I think this is a part of the box. So let's uh, see what this says. So readme.txt here. Uh, it's a note from administrator saying, for the love of God, change your password before we launch. And password is quoted, so maybe password is the password, or this is signifying that there's a user who's using a very, very weak password. Um, so we could maybe try logging in with a user with a weak password. Now we can uh, do net users to see all users. So we have administrator, guest, and web admin. So what I did was I made a users file, administrator, guest, web admin, and then we can use crackmap exec. Uh, we'll do SMB, the, enter the IP, and this is going to uh, try every user with, and we'll, we'll try a password, as it says here between the quotes. I'll make this bigger. And we'll see if any of these match. Okay, administrator and guests don't match, but web admin does. And it even says pond, which means that we can do um, psexec.py, which is going to give us, uh, which is going to make uh, use SMB to give us a, a, a PowerShell session or a, or a code execution at least. So let's see. So we're going to do psexec, then we're going to say, okay, web, mat, web admin at, and then the IP address. I'm using these uh, single quotes so I don't have to escape spaces. So if we run that, we'll be asked to enter the password. Once we enter that, it's requesting the shares. Uh, so it says, okay, we can't write to admin, we can't write to C, but it's able to write to development. So then it uploads an exe to development, and using that, it can uh, it can get a uh, code execution. Now there's a lot of very good articles on how psexec actually works, which I would really recommend reading. But for the case of this video, uh, if you see pond in crackmap exec that means hey we can get a we can get code execution through ps exec so now if we do dir uh, we can see okay that was a, a bad command to run because uh, this shell is quite slow so let's uh, run this again get a new one and run who am i instead who am i who am I? And we'll notice that we are anti authority system. So we have pwned this box, we have uh, completed it. Uh, so that was this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, as always, leave them below in the comments and I will happily respond. Uh, I hope you uh, liked it and I ho I'll hope to see you back in another video. Take care.